Elena may kill hello everyone. I'm Kamupa of the Duke of Foster, and in this video we're exploring the Quo, the source of human power. This is part of the Loaming Lomi Deep Dive series, which I've been hosting on the Clubhouse app. I hope that you enjoy the video, and let's get into it. Um. Akua to our gods and our goddesses, Aumakua to our guardians, and Poikahiko to our ancestors, we thank you. Thank you for the land beneath our feet, for this beautiful day, for the wind, uh, for all the blessings that you bestow upon us each and every moment. Thank you for bringing us here together once again to continue in the sharing, uh, the exploration, and the deep dive of Lomi Lomi. We ask for your presence to be with us, uh, for your energy power to flow through us and between us and to join us here uh, at this time you know, through these modern technologies, through this platform, uh, and in this room uh, that we have uh, created together. We ask for our ancestors to draw near to us, that they too surround us, and shield us and protect us and guide us in all that we have uh, to share uh, with one another at this time. Thank them deeply for the passing of this knowledge to us. This is our humble and our simple prayer at this time. We send it to you now in flight, Akua, with a sacred and a powerful word. Ea mama, ea mama, ea Okay, so mahalo everybody. <clears throat> Once again, I am Kamu Pa Kavika Foster, and I uh, want to thank you all for uh, joining us uh, once again as we continue our journey here in uh, the sharing of Lomi Lomi. Today's particular topic, it's, uh, uh, it's a very uh, vast topic, um, and we're talking about uh, Akua and Akua being the uh, ultimate presence and also the uh, source from which we receive the healing power uh, that uh, we request uh, to be granted to us uh, through Lomi Lomi. Akua is uh, our gods and our goddesses. And in the ancient time, our ancestors worshiped 400,000 gods and goddesses. And our ancestors were very uh, open and uh, receptive to uh, the uh, multitudes of these uh, gods and goddesses that they knew to be in existence uh, and know to be in existence uh, in our universe. In the realm of spirit, uh, there are three primary levels that we address and that we call out to uh, before we do any kind of healing work, uh, including that of Lomi Lomi. 
And we do that uh, through our uh, oli, right? Our chanting, uh, our puli, our prayers. So, as an example, uh, the uh, chanting uh, that I did uh, with all of you uh, began with the three primary levels of spirit that I'm talking about. It began with in aqua, na aqua, right? We're uh, calling out to uh, na is uh, plural. It's uh, more than one. And aqua is uh, that of the higher beings uh, that uh, we're calling out to. Uh, once again, that's the realm of spirit, which uh, is allotted to our gods and our goddesses. Then we moved into uh, Naomakua. Naomakua are our guardians and our guardians are uh, ancestral spirits that uh, have uh, lived life um, that is pono um, and that is good and have developed a deep relationship, a close and a deep relationship to us uh, in, the, in the living. And when they pass on, uh, they enter into Po, and they enter into the realm of spirit, to the ancestral realm, and we continue to maintain that closeness of relationship with them. Um, and through our calling out to them, through our uh, continued prayers and, and, and in the maintaining of that relationship with them in spirit, uh, they become Aumakua, uh, which is a guardian spirit. Now these are particular um, uh, family spirits, Ohana um, uh, family spirits that uh, uh, once again, that we're uh, very close to and we continue to maintain that relationship that closeness of relationship with them uh, even after their uh, their death then we move into the uh, the level of our poe kahiko and the poe kahiko is uh, our method uh, in our chant uh, to address all of our ancestors all of those uh, uh, family uh, members, uh, both uh, near and far uh, in generation, uh, that have crossed uh, into uh, the land of Po, into the ancestral realm of Po, uh, and, uh, and reside there. And so we uh, acknowledge them uh, through our chants, and once again through our prayer uh, to any time that we uh, have a need uh, to contact them, to uh, uh, to nurture that relationship to all of them, and so we and we continue to respect and to honor them, so we include them in that in that oli. And the reason, once again, that I'm sharing this is because uh, in in Lomi Lomi. We are calling to them uh, and praying to them uh, for guidance uh, in the work that needs to be done through Lomi Lomi, uh, through the guidance of, of the, uh, the healing process that, uh, uh, that lays before us uh, in, in that of Lomi Lomi, and also uh, to, and more importantly, uh, to uh, request to ask uh, humbly uh, for the healing power which uh, Akua uh, can only provide. So it's very, very important for us in our culture uh, that we at least maintain a belief. In the earlier part of my training with Kumupa, uh, Lord Zaki, um, uh, he once uh, told me that to have a belief in Akua is a good start. It's a great place to begin. Uh, to 
said uh, to me, uh, following that, he said to me, Tarika, but it's not enough for you to just believe. You must know. And know in every part of your being, in the existence of your ancestors, in the existence of your guardian spirits, and in the existence of the presence uh, of our gods and our goddesses uh, in this universe uh, and beyond. This uh, was the important component and is an important component in our traditional culture and lineage uh, where we begin. Uh, in order for any kind of healing uh, to take place, uh, including that of Lomi Lomi, that relationship to Akua uh, must be uh, free and clear, must be made right, and it must be strong uh, in order to and you, yourself, and your spirit, your mind, and your body uh, must be free and clear in order to receive uh, the healing power that Akua has to grant us. And it is, uh, it's also very important that the, that the people that come to us uh, for Hawaiian body work or Hawaiian healing touch um, also uh, have an understanding or at least a belief in something which is uh, greater than them uh, and that uh, is the source of the healing power which we're requesting uh, for uh, in the work of Lomi Lomi that we eventually uh, do with one another. Uh, just as in Ho'oponopono, if there is no belief uh, in the higher power, if there is no belief in a higher being, then we cannot do the work of uh, Lomi Lomi, nor can we do the work of Ho'oponopono. Yeah, these uh, cultural practices and traditions are only successful uh, if uh, there is an acknowledgement of our ancestors, our guardians, and uh, most importantly, that of our, our kua, our gods, um, and our goddesses. So, what I'd also like to share uh, before I uh, pass it back over to uh, Kumu Lords uh, to elaborate on anything that he's inspired to is that Akua for us, you know, that's, the, that's the Hawaiian way, that's the Kanaka Oivi, the Kanaka Maoli, uh, that's the, uh, our native, uh, our indigenous method, our, uh, a method of communicating to the gods and goddesses, uh, uh, that of addressing, yeah, and of, of uh, acknowledging the gods and goddesses of our ancestors. Um, as a whole, uh, but when we are working uh, with, um, when we are working with our ancestors and our guardians and our gods and our goddesses, we address them by name. Yeah, and this was this the second part of this, the opening chant that I just wanted to highlight uh, and bring forward to everyone's attention. And when I, uh, when I chanted the words, Molokai Nuya Hina So we've addressed all of the spirit realm, right? Beginning with Akua, our gods, our goddesses. Then we moved through Aumakua, which are our guardians. And then we moved into Poe Kahiko, which is that of our ancestors. In our chant, however, and in our lineage, we address one particular goddess um, uh, above all. And that is because she is uh, the mother, the guardian, uh, and the goddess uh, of the moon uh, who gives birth to the island of Molokai. And Molokai is her island child. And therefore, all of its descendants and the people uh, of the island of Molokai are also her children. So we call to her uh, particularly because of the, the closeness. Once again, we're talking about the intimacy and the closeness of the relationship, of the connection that we have uh, to them. And, and now, at this very moment, to this particular goddess, which we call Hina. And, uh, and once again, she is the goddess of the moon. So, this is my share um, for now, 
and, and, and as much as I'm inspired to share at this moment in time, in regards to the topic of Akua uh, and its relation to, uh, and uh, I should say <laughs> the other way around, and Lomi Lomi's relationship uh, to Akua. So, mahalo everybody for, for listening. Um, I hope you found it inspiring and uh, Kula Lawrence, if you'd like to contribute, mahalo.